fog, light rays or heat haze. All these effects are possible in DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you how. So these are the small adjustments in your videos that makes it way more engaging to watch. I've prepared three clips for that. The first one is the clip where we add fog here in the background. The second clip is where we add some more light rays here from the sun. And the third clip is here in the desert and we're gonna add some heat haze here. So first let's start with the fog. I've got here my clip with just the basic color grade and with that we jump into the color page. Here after the last node with Option or Alt S you can create a new node. Then here on the Effects tab, when you don't see it, click here on Effects. Now this tab is open up. Search for the Death Map and drag it onto your new node. The Death Map is available only in the Studio version of DaVinci Resolve, sadly not in the free version. This is what the Death Map looks like. First click here on Invert. Click here on the drop down menu on resulting map adjustments. Go here to adjust map levels. And now we need to adjust the distance where we want to have the fog. And avoid hard edges like this one. Just increase the sliders until you got everywhere some soft fog looking edges like, like that. Just play around here with the sliders until you're happy with the result. In my opinion, this one looks very good. It almost looks like we have some fog here in the background. When you're happy with the adjustments, here deselect Death Map Preview. So we have our normal image back. And now these settings are saved here in this node. Then with the same node selected, go here to the curve. Down here at the bottom are our shadows. And we just lift our shadows up and you can see it creates like a bit of fog. Don't overshoot it too much because it will look very fake. So I just increase it somewhere around here and the highlights I put it a little bit down. So when we look at the before and after you can see that the fog also comes a bit here to the foreground and in front of this pole thing. This is why it's important that you have a, a smooth transition from the distance to the to the closer areas. Next one, the light rays. You can see we already have here a bit of light rays, but we can make that way more cinematic. For that, we jump right back into the color page. Once again, after the last node, hit Option or Alt S. This creates a new node, and this time we search for light rays. This should be available in the free version 2 of DaVinci Resolve. Now you can see it's way too much, so first go here to Source Threshold, and then just the sliders until only here the highlight regions are affected. Then on composite mode, we go here to screen. So the effect is not so hard. It's, it's even softer and a bit more transparent in the whole scene. And now you can play around here with the sliders until you're happy with your, with your result. Increase here a bit the brightness, maybe the gamma. So we have a bit more light rays. The saturation, just a little bit. The length of them, I want to get it out of the frame, fully out of frame here. Then maybe just a little bit softer, something like that. And here on the position, you can play around here with the position where the light rays should shine. But here I've already got some light rays, so I will align it with this direction like that. And when we look at the before and after, this is before and after, it makes a huge of a difference with just a little bit of effort. So these are the small adjustments in your videos that makes it way more engaging to watch. And for the last one here, we add some heat haze. So you can see this is just a basic clip. My girlfriend walking into the sand here and we want to add some heat haze in here to underline the heat in the desert. For that effect, we can stay here in the edit page. On the left side here on effects, you can open up here the effects tab and on open effects, search for fast noise and drag it onto your clip. So this is what the fast noise looks like. It's just some black and white wobbly thing, something like that. Looks very weird, but this is the fast noise and we can play a lot around with that. So it's it's pretty cool effect. Here on presets, you've already got the heat haze preset, but that doesn't look so good. So in my opinion, it's way too, too hard and too edgy and I don't like it. So we adjust it a little bit more so it looks more engaging. So for my liking, I 
increase here at the scale so it's not that small TV glitch thing. So we push that up. The HV ratio, I put it a little bit down so it gets way softer here on the edges. The detail level, I increase it a little bit and detail balance also. And now it's just playing the clip and watching it back and in my opinion it's a bit too much. So just leave all these settings up here somewhere around here and just play around with the contrast. So when you think the effect is too hard just decrease the contrast so the overall effect is way smoother. Play it back. And in my opinion this looks very good. So when we see the before and after this is without the fast noise. It's just the clip playing like that. And with the fast noise on, we have this, this wobbling and you can almost feel the heat of, of the desert here in, in this clip. So these are three natural effects that are very easy to do, but makes your videos way more cinematic. With that said, have fun creating and see you in the next one.